Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Getting back to Dawn of War 2, we have one DLC still to play, and that is Retribution. So I'm joined by Shardundred. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or day or whatever. Post Legends of Arcane Shardundred, at that. Exactly. The first recording after the Legends of Arcane, the true story has been finished. Yes. Post Warcraft 3, excuse me. Yeah, I shouldn't say the, the Legends of Arcane. You want to put it in thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Arcane. So, I, it's prompting me to play a prologue mission, and I think this is, like, how to play the game in a general sense, so I'm gonna skip this. It also has some mild lore, if I remember correctly, but we are, I think we can skip it, yeah. Okay. Now, here's the real question, and we have not discussed this at all. Who are we playing as? Yeah, that's the thing. In theory, the new race that you get to play in this um, expansion is the Imperial Guard. But, we have played... We haven't played any race apart from the Space Marines. Right. Yeah, but I know what you mean. The other ones have existed. Yeah. I... The thing is, um, it depends on how we want to do this. Like, if you want to go with the canon story that was set, um, we have to quote unquote play as Space Marines. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to play as Space Marines again. I'm fine. I don't. I'm fine playing as any of them. I don't really have an opinion. I just know one thing. I don't want to play as Tyranids. <laughs> okay, I understand. I was leaning They're... towards Imperial Guard or Orcs. I feel like Imperial Guard are a fan favorite, and I quite like them. Yeah. I also like Imperial Guard. Now, the thing is with Tyranids that they don't, they don't really have characters. That's why they are the least interesting campaign, in my opinion, for Retribution. That makes I don't, sense. I don't remember that much, but I still remember a few things. I, uh, I just like the idea of a pirate orc, but... <laughs> He is hilarious from what I remember, yeah. Yeah, he just looks great. Um, you know what? Since we both seemed like we kind of agreed, let's go Imperial Guard. Yeah. I think the orcs have a character that's called Mr. Nailbrain. <laughs> <laughs> the Imperial Guard of Cadia? Okay, so we're playing as uh, like the, the real good guys here. The, the legit Imperial Guard. Yeah. Okay. Um... So we played Chaos Rising on normal, I think, because that's what it defaulted to. I think we played on normal, yeah. But we played on hard for the base campaign. I'm, I'm yeah. kind of ambivalent about this. Hard could be fun. <laughs> I really don't remember enough about this campaign to make an educated guess. It's also been some time since we last played Dawn of War, right? Like six months or whatever? That's true, but I feel like we are... We are Skilled veterans. I think we can handle hard. I don't mind. I don't really have an opinion. It's your channel. <laughs> okay, we're doing hard. It, it, maybe it'll go very poorly, and that could be entertaining in its own right. Who knows? All right, I'm sending us in. Ten years ago, we blood ravens destroyed the demon Alcare, ending his schemes to rock subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Scepter. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Scepter to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the guards' ranks. Now the Sector sits helpless, wrapped by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers, brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcare. A corrupt space marine chapter master, a militia crippled by disorder and turmoil, demons, renegades, a sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the Sector. A solution 
with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the sector of life. Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. But I have an ally in the Inquisition, an ally made during my darkest moment, and she has heeded my call. She will arrive in the sector before the Exterminatus fleet arrives to investigate my claims. With proof, she has the power to halt the impending destruction, if Lore? I don't remember the cinematic being so low FPS. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too. <laughs> it's kind of just like those pre-rendered cinematics, kind of goofy looking, but... I don't think it is... It, you, either it's because of co-op or something else, because it definitely didn't use to be like that. Mm -hmm. That was very weird, and I couldn't skip. Perhaps not all of the men of this sector are cowards. According to these cravens, one did not run when ambushed. Not a coward, but perhaps a fool for allowing himself to be ambushed. I suppose we should collect him in the faint hope that he has useful intelligence about the situation. We'll need to move quickly, and there will no doubt be Xenos between us and our missing man. Okay, all right. All right, I have to now use. Uh, I can't tool. use uh, WASD for this. I'm the not. leader of the Xenos that infest this place can't be far. Our missing sergeant may have more information for us. All that remains is to carve a path through these beasts to reach him. I hear on my way. Oh, I'm getting extra guys. Just like randomly, I'm reinforcing. Yeah, I think that's the thing of the Lord Command. Okay, that's good. So you seem like you're pretty much purely frontline, and I am backline. I mean, I think she also has a gun, a pistol, but basically like a force commander. Yeah. I don't. I kind of don't want to keep her, honestly. I don't know anything about how this one. I feel like it works differently. My understanding is it works a little differently than. Yes, it does. Yeah. So I don't know what to expect. Weaker than he needs to be, but stronger than I expected. I think this man can be salvaged. Right then. Thank you, General. I thought this might finally be it. Your lack of cowardice is refreshing, Sergeant Major. But your weakness is typical of the sector. I'll toughen you up or use you up, perhaps both, as the Imperium requires. Yeah. Um, the sergeant is, if I remember correctly, uh, he is the guy from the, the Imperial Sergeant guy from the other two campaigns. Okay. Oh, Merrick. He's the, yeah, he's the only one who's actually from Aurelia, basically, because our guys have just arrived here. Gotcha. Okay. You have to upgrade his health before we can progress. Okay. Select this here to upgrade his health. This is still a mild tutorial. Interesting. Okay. So that's new. Yeah. And that's only for this... It's for, this for all mission. characters over the time. Okay, but it's only for this mission. Best response to an ambush is yeah. to counterattack quickly and forcefully. So I have this the ability flight. for Valkyrie support. It says it would reinforce allied infantry near the landing zone, but Merrick did not get reinforced unless he doesn't I have a think... squad. I'm... He doesn't have a squad, yeah. I think okay. that's when we have normal units because of this campaign we need actual units. Oh, okay. On to our objective. You have to pay the resources, but when your units die, um, you get the resources refunded basically. So there's no reason not to use resources. Okay, most cool. Of the time. Right. Moving. Making my attack. But you will see that soon enough. Well, I'm I'm stuck in melee right now, but that's okay. Yeah. I shouldn't spoil your reviewers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, again, it's like, it's Dawn of War 2, but it seems like with each expansion, they, like, Chaos Rising expanded directly on the base game, whereas this... Was the turret flying for you, too? 
Uh, no, but I've had that happen before. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. But a smart man will not needlessly expose himself to it. Had you been smarter, you might not have fallen earlier, Sergeant. Wow. That if it's smart, I would have left years ago. Yeah, he, he's, he's correct. He's, he's got a yeah, can't be mad about that. Then again, that's the group dark universe. Yeah. I mean, he's got the grenade. He's got unlimited grenades, just like our boy Tarkus. So he's he's the new. He's new basically with Tarkus replacement. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing about this campaign is that the heroes are. Not the same, but they are very similar in some rules that they have. Gotcha. All, for all races. No, that's fine with me. It's fine, but it's also, like, not really that different in the yeah. structure at once. We will be able to procure additional forces there. Yeah. Yeah, so the difference is we can actually requisition units. Instead of just having fallback positions, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is there a reason to not pick up these resources like in the other ones, you think? Or is it... It looks no, like it banks them all. There's no reason. Okay. It's only for this mission anyway. We don't have it for the next one. Okay, so it's like, might as well use them all. Yeah, yeah. Oh! I think we share resources. basic and most useful infantry option. They'll crumble in close combat, but they pack enough las guns at long range and it doesn't matter. Okay. On the field, they can yeah, be share, be share resources. resources. That's fine. To enhance their firepower. So we built the, the people. <laughs> Just run up here. I thought that the Tyranids were gone. There were some in Chaos Rising too, though. Uh, never mind. It's basically the ones that are left, yeah. Okay. I gotta get up to date on my lore. You have to go. Oh, never mind. I thought you had to go by them. I thought they were immortal. I mean, I just sniped one of them, so it may have seemed like it was no problem. I thought they took no damage until you flanked them. <laughs> well, I definitely killed one of them. I, I can see that, thank you. <laughs> So is there, a, is there a mechanic where we can tempt each other to take the good or bad route in this one, or is it probably no. a little more straightforward? Unfortunately, it's very straightforward, yeah. Okay. Nothing happened, though, I don't see. <laughs> we played it up. <laughs> Orcs have an obsession with salvaged materials. We may find something useful. Kill any Xenos and take what we can use. Yeah, if I remember correctly, when this released, like, this was treated, I don't want to say like a standalone game per se, but like much more of a standalone expansion compared to Chaos Rising. Because it is, it's very different also. You will see that from the skill tree later, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, I don't know what the point of that ability is. It seemed like- I was like... supposed to ask you why you did you do that, yeah. Well, I, I thought, because I saw it before it like landed and exploded, but otherwise, I'm not sure. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was a team kill. That was me. I admit it. Can you use the Imperial Guard units to get heroes up, or can only you do that? I can't. I could... Uh, there's two things. You can either use... Um, you can either use your heroes, or you can use the resources to revive your heroes. Yeah, I saw that popping up, yeah. But there's no way... But those resources are just gone, so no. I really didn't feel like doing that. Yeah, that seems like a... Like, only if you absolutely must type, Yeah, and that's type thing. also one of the things that... I'm not sure if you can actually lose this campaign. Not a trace of okay. Yeah, so, also, items are not very... It's a bit rare, rarer on an item side moving. this time around. Okay. Eh, that's probably for the best, otherwise I get kind of obsessed with the right okay. items and stuff. <laughs> are you going back to reinforce? I... Reinforce, shmeinforce. Oh, I'm, go I'm the one who's going the wrong way. I'm sorry. I thought we were going up. We that's where we came from. 
I thought you were too green for a second. No. I'm all good. I'm age. I'm ready to go. It's a new age. You don't reinforce. That's true. We throw them in. Throw them into the grinder, okay? They are just Imperial Guards. Then again, the Space Marines are doing the same in this. What, um... So what can your hero do? Uh... The Hammer of the Witch's ability, which is just like this, uh, thing that comes from the sky and deals damage, I think we saw that a few times. Or maybe you didn't, I don't know. Uh... Let me use it now. Look at the Tyranids. Okay. You have... What's that inside? Okay. Did you see it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I've not Come seen on. that before, but that is good. I'm sorry in advance because I think I was supposed to throw grenades at these guys, but you're, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna team kill. There's explosive barrels next to them. If you throw a grenade, they're all dead. Okay. Well, us too. Okay. Well, this seems pretty straightforward compared to what we've seen before. Yeah, yeah. We can build units, Pers which is a cool. very different difficulty level, I think. Yeah. Proceeding with attack. A heavy weapon squad would be handy here. Their suppressing fire would slow and cripple any enemy push. Those are yours if they look in the wrong direction, I think. I am on my way. Uh, I don't think we have enough requisition to do any... Oh, no, we do. You have to... The problem is we have... We don't have... Uh, we're over max right now. Right. Get a move on, men. Let's take cover over there. Um, can you retire? Can I... It doesn't look like you can, like, purposefully... You can't... There's no kill button in this game. Okay. A retire button maybe would be a little more generous, but okay, we just have to let people die. This is the uh, grim dark future, okay? We have no... There is no retirement. Just, <laughs> just throw him in, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to garrison my other units with you. Just like Arcane, there is no retirement will be there. <laughs> right? Oh, I got a heavy weapon squad for free. I told you! Sorry, it's, it was not clicking. I was like trying to build one and I, I realized it. I they facing the wrong direction. <laughs> no, they're facing to the right. They're good. And now they are. They're fine. Famous last words. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, see now we're now now I'm facing the right way. Now everything is great. I'm proud of you. Okay, I took out one of the warriors. Or I'm sorry, they're Leviathans. I think it's both. Well it was both. I hear you. Moving now. Okay. Heavy weapons moving. Do these guys do- do I know if- like, okay, they have a heavy bolter, but I don't know- they said that I could change them, give them a LAS cannon, but that might just be something for later. I think LAS cannon is- uh, LAS cannon should be only good against bigger targets and, uh, tanks, so I'm not sure if this would be the right choice here. Okay, yeah, that seems like anti-armor exclusively. Yeah, yeah. Who needs anti-armor when you have just guardsmen to throw into the problem? True! I'm trying to get rid of this warrior over here. Oh, I see. Leviathan is like the faction name. It was a warrior brood. Oh, yeah, the bigger turn, it's like the current effects are treated as vehicles up, uh, in Retribution. Finally. Yeah. So that the anti tank uh, grenades actually work on them. Yeah. But other abilities like Hammer of Witches for my position. Uh, Inquisitor don't work on that, unfortunately. Because I... the other missions. Yeah. Don't question it. And she died again. Well, that means I can throw a grenade. That, that was not a good grenade. Yeah. I almost have enough energy to... No, Merrick, no! Okay, well. 
I almost have enough energy to snipe. I can't snipe it. Yeah, it's a... It's a vehicle, Jay. Where's Cyrus when you need him? Yeah, you're right. You were just talking about how they changed it so that you can't use... I mean, against the card effects, uh, anti-tank uh, anti -tank grenade would be very useful. Yeah. Which is funny, because like in the base game, I would have been able to snipe it. <laughs> but now yeah. I can't. <laughs> It doesn't have to make sense, it's just balance. Right. Okay, we are on the way to the Hive Tyrant now. I'm trying to get up Merrick. There we go. I'm just going to rush ahead. Okay. Okay, I'm coming. Does Merrick heal? Is he gonna heal? I like how this first. One thing I don't I like, quote unquote, is uh, how this first mission feels much more like a first mission than in the base game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's you know they learned over time what should be, what they should yeah, be doing. I mean, yeah, higher difficulties that make sense for the first mission to be harder though. Uh. Oh, for crying out loud! I kind of don't like her if it wasn't obvious. Yeah. Merrick, no. Mm. Merrick's dying, yeah. No! I didn't want to do that. I'm trying to get the heavy bolters in there, too. There we go. I got what's her name back up. I'm going to go get Merrick. Okay, heavy heavy bolters are st setting up. Uh, Adras Adras Adrastia? Adrastia. Okay. Adrastia. Thank you. <laughs> Hero for hero, you know? The moment I got you up, I die. Okay, it's no problem. Everything's fine. Hard difficulty, okay? It's gonna be fine. We're at the end. I mean, this is much smoother than any other mission. Yeah. We played in this game. Level she is like, Big Vision doesn't go down so easily. Yeah, right. Yep. <laughs> I always like when, when um, especially hero units, have voice lines that clearly just do not match. Yes. She's like kind of a fragile frontliner and then just dies. Yeah. Move in and kill enemy leader. Okay, well. Take the point first, please, Jay. <laughs> I guess. I know you want to just rush in and kill everything. I know you are on Inquisition mode, despite the fact that I'm playing the Inquisitor. That's true. I do. I do like the Inquisition. <laughs> That's my part. <laughs> okay. Can we? Does this thing heal us super quick? Like, yeah, it does. Okay, good. What? Still. Oh, that might have been me. Oh, did you just take us to the next? Yeah, that's fine. Don't you agree, man? I just shot the. I actually just shot the crates. Okay, that's fine. Indeed, its head will go nicely in my trophy collection. Aim low. <laughs> Don't shoot its head. <laughs> Don't I shoot its head. Trophy. Yeah. This dude's a lunatic. Whoa! What's this little flag? What flag? There's a little flag above above my guy's head. I love how you talk about it while there's a symbol around the units. No, it's bigger than that. I guess. Guardsman, stand strong. Set the set your gun back up. So, if I do this, again, then it blows, it blows up. What is that for? I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure if that does any damage. I thought it would reinforce squads that were hurt, but it doesn't seem like um, it. My squad is almost down. Yeah, okay. 
and he reinforces lonely guardsmen. I I can't. I don't know how. I just use a fallback, but. That'd have been so funny if he if he killed that guy as you were falling back. I would have laughed so much. I know. I'm gonna grenade the ones that came in the upper left. You are known for being an evil guy, after all. <laughs> That's me. Classic J, evil guy. Okay, and then one more snipe. Setting up some firing lights. <laughs> Heavy Bolter's still doing okay. I mean, he just got knocked back, but he's fine. There he goes. There One he more goes. snipe. Easy. I like how my guy is just, just one-handing a sniper rifle. But strength is no match for intelligence and resolve. Oh, large caliber explosive rounds, for that matter. Now you're getting into the spirit, Sergeant Major. This ended better than it should have. Considering the poor quality and resolve of the guardsmen here. Now that we have regrouped with Commissar Lord Byrne, no act of cowardice or incompetence will go unnoticed or unpunished. With all due respect, General, I've been killing this beast for a decade now, along with most every other Xenos known to the Imperium. Sergeant Major, nobody questions your valor or loyalty. It is a beacon in a dark sea of apathy and heresy. Which is why I led the Lord General here to you and your men. I am Inquisitor Adrastia of the Ordo Hereticus. The Inquisition is no stranger to this sector, having dealt with Cyrene in the approved manner some time ago. Now they are returning to apply that solution to remaining planets of subsector Aurelia. You mean. Exterminatus. The complete and utter destruction of every inhabited world in this sector. No one will be spared. Traitor, Xenos, or loyal. All will die. Good show, sir. Victory. Okay. <laughs> That's another thing in this, uh, ca it's in for all retribution campaigns, actually. At least, apart from the Space Marines. The fourth guy of your squad just doesn't even say anything. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Nothing wrong no, with Space that. Space Marines, all four are involved. But here, it's... Yeah. Oh, so Lord Byrne is just going to be a silent fourth person. Yes. Okay. I guess that's fine. All right, I'm going back. and We can hear what they got to say. Took me with you, yeah. Oh, I got an achievement. Oh, oh, okay. Do we do we keep like do we share the reward here or? Uh, yeah. I mean, the specialist infantry like that's only for next mission, uh, right? You don't have a dialogue right now. No, I have a mission reward that I'm on. Oh. Oh, so I'm talking over your dialogue. I apologize. I mean, I am not recording. Oh, yeah. No, I don't have any dialogue because I'm on a mission reward and I can choose a gun or two different squads. Adds a sergeant to the squad. Adds a season of seasoned... A squad of seasoned Katachan jungle fighters, some of whom are formerly of the Penal Legion. Devils are effective in melee and can employ several weapon specialists. Wait, I mean... Where are you? I, I'm on, like, uh, the reward screen... I don't know how else to describe it. You can choose what we get now, or... <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the Katachan Devils. The oh, you unlock the next unit, gotcha. Weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, however, but, uh, can you can unlock the Stormtrooper as, as soon as you can? <laughs> I, I didn't have it, but... Okay, now I'm getting the dialogue. Raven's chapter of Space Marines. He has a theory about the problems in this sector. It is a very interesting theory, and if it proves to be true, I can halt the Exterminatus. Unfortunately, I cannot prove or disprove this theory without assistance. Your assistance. Why do you need me and my men? Due to the delicate nature of my investigation, I am unable to make use of the normal channels. But you have proven trustworthy and resourceful. 
With the Lord General's guidance, you can be of great use to me. Which still leaves us a problem of transportation about the sector. We need to move about with freedom and without Imperial support. I am aware of a means to solve this transportation issue. All of the planets in this sector are linked. Teleportariums, created in the Dark Age of Technology, enable travel between planets, if one knows where to find them and how to make use of them. One of the teleportarium devices is actually quite near, in a war zone controlled by renegades and traitors. We must reach that teleportarium, and we must move quickly. Okay, so are you, I guess you're stuck with Adrastia then, even though you do not like her very much. I also got Merrick for some reason. I'm pretty sure we have the option to change later, but I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll I'll chill with Burn. I like how the um the upgrades are simplified. I both like and don't like it because it can't really do anything about your stats. Y yeah, I understand I also, that. If I remember if I remember correctly, by the way, I think that. I think that Cyrus is... I mean, we are not playing a space screen, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh-huh. But I do remember that Cyrus is much weaker in this game than he normally is. You said... Cy you mean you mean Caster? Like the guy who... Cyrus, our infiltrator. Oh, I didn't know we get him. We don't, we don't, we're not getting him. I mean... Oh, I've, uh, I spoiled something, damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Whoever. Whatever. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's that's fine. I was just a little confused. I mean, we okay. are not playing in Space Marine, so it doesn't matter. You also get him in the first mission, so it's not really that much of a spoiler, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm uh I'm equipping stuff on my people. Lord Burn can wear this level two. No, he can't because he's not level two. No yet. one can wear anything right now apart from the blind grenade and the map pack. And the Lord get general of yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want... Call a Valkyrie assault carrier to the target location, reinforcing allied infantry near the landing zone. Is it that, like, I have to drop that on our own guys, and it will unload people? That's because that's what it feels like. I have... I think you have... Yeah, you have to drop it on our own guys, and they get reinforcements if they're not full, I think, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's... That's fine. I'm gonna give the heal to Lord Burn, who doesn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, and then having to go through all these abilities to decide what to take. Ah, uh, ugh. Uh oh. Well, I guess maybe we can do this a little bit off camera, just because yeah. I there's so many, of course, kind of like Chaos Rising. So we'll we'll end this one here, and uh, and we'll have some a general idea of builds we'll go forward with. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next time.